Welcome to In Hindsight, where we showcase local New Mexico, we debate on hot topics, and also, are you the a-hole? I'm your host, Day, and today we are joined by... Angie Ashley and... Saran. And you know, always, Octo and, and Rito. And today, we are going to talk about one of the restaurants that we actually visited in Santa Fe. Um, this is actually my first time eating at this place. Um, it's called Oaxaca. Um, it, it was actually really, really good. Um, this is like my first time hearing about cactus salad. Oh, wow. Um, I, I mean, I've heard about like cactus in food, um, but I've actually never had, I've never seen like cactus served in a restaurant before. Oh, so I think that's like really interesting because yeah, like I've never very interesting. <laughs> yeah, because I mean I've been in Albuquerque for almost four years now, but I've never actually seen like cactus serve in a restaurant. So that was like I think it was really cool. I yeah. think one of them have um, the prickly pear jam. Is that the one that it looks like? Uh, it's that's baby cactus. Those are the babies. Yes, the, the little flowers. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So they have oh. they have like the prickly pear festival. Yes. Um, every year here. I, I haven't been to the festival quite yet. Uh -huh. um, I wanted to come, not because of the actual prickly pear. It's like my, very random. But like my friend, they have a tortoise. They, they, they have like twin tortoises in uh -huh. my friend in Charleston. Uh -huh. And her mom wanted it because like tortoises, that's their favorite thing to eat. And she's like, well, bring it to us. Yeah. So like I asked my husband, it's like, if I go to this festival, will they sell me the prickly pear because they grew them here everywhere. Yes. And then what I found out is like they only sell them in like five gallon buckets. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> and I told her like I can't bring that in a plane. I have to buy that a seat. Uh -huh. So, yeah. but like um, I am curious about it because like I've never, I've never had like cactus before. Yeah. It was actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I used to live in Sicily and they're very very popular in in Italy that eating prickly pear. That's so. cool. Yes. Yeah, so it's like, I think like, I mean, because I think like people, when people think about like Mexican food, they just assume like, oh, it's, it's all the same. But Mexico is such a big country. I mean, I yeah. think, I mean, it's the same thing. Like, it doesn't matter where you live. Like, they, they kind of mm. just lump it what, mm. right in the same, mm. yeah. it's like, like it's the same food. Like, enchiladas are the same and you know what I mean? Like, tacos are the same. But regional, I mean, food is going to be regional, like yeah. Italian food is gonna be different, especially mm -hmm. depending on where you know where the places are. Cause like I went to culinary school, and like you know different places in Italy, they have different, they have, you know what I mean. It's regional, mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. So even in Asia, you know, people just assume like, oh, Asian food is like Asian food, and it's like no, it's like completely right. different, it depends. right? Yeah. It so on the culture, you know. Yeah. So I think like, and you know, like Santa Fe is also like. I mean, it's not that Albuquerque is like a foodie town, but Santa Fe is like such a foodie town, mm -hmm. you know. So it's like we. So yeah, like so like we. We actually, like, the reason why we ended up going to this restaurant is, like, we actually checked out um, the Zobra. Oh, oh we yes. went? Yeah, we went Neat. to, yeah, we yes. went to Zobra, and, like, everywhere was just, like, ridiculously packed. I would oh, think, yes. yeah. yeah. So, Didn't they say that there's, like, 50,000 people in one day? Well, they said, like, they capped it to 55,000 this year because last year, it was like 80,000 people. Oh my gosh. So, so next year's like the anniversary, right? Yeah, it's yeah, like the centennial. So <laughs> it's There's like, going to be so many. Yeah, it's like the 100 year cuz cuz people think like like this is like like the the copycat of like Burning Man. Actually, this mm -hmm. this is like where Burning Man is from. Like Burning Man is from Zozobra. Oh. Okay. Like Zozobra came first. And then somebody saw it, and then they decided to do Burning Man. Because the Zobra is celebrating their 100th anniversary next year. Mm -hmm. Correct. So that's why, like, I mean, and it's kind of funny, because like, if you think about it, like, Burning Man actually didn't turn out really well this year. Oh, because but, like, of the mud. <laughs> yeah, so, like, but, like, I, because, like, we, we have friends in Santa Fe, so, like, we met up with them, so they know, like, you know, like where to park, that kind of thing. That's smart. Yeah. You know, like, like, you know, where to go to yeah. like not be, because that's how we end yeah. up in Oaxaca, because they were like, you know, we need to get away from the plaza, because like, 
we're never going to be able to get a seat because we wanted to go eat before Zozobra. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter any events that you go to, food is going to be ridiculously expensive once you get into the site. Mm -hmm. like the fair and concerts and anything yeah, right because yes, yes. like we wanted to get a lemonade and the line for the lemonade was like hundred an hour <laughs> right like you go inside and then yeah. the line for the lemonade we're well, like we'll go to the gas station yeah we're like um wow, that's long you know and <laughs> you're not allowed to bring we're not allowed to bring drinks or anything oh okay. um because it's a technically a dry event i mean they have like right. a they have a beer garden inside i mm -hmm. mean of course because you know Yes. They have to make money. But like, <laughs> you know, I think to like kind of, you know, not have people. I mean, there's fire involved. So, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. But I think it's kind of cool because like, like, I don't know what to expect. I've never been to an event where they burn things technically. Yeah. I mean, fireworks are different, yeah. right? Yeah. But like my friend said that like the reason why they actually go there is because the fireworks are actually fairly cool. It's better than the 4th of July fireworks. Oh. Wow. And it was like, cause you know, like in the Fourth of July fireworks, it's like you know, cool, and then the last like two minutes is like you know, like insane. But this was like fifteen minutes of that. It was just like continuous like ridiculousness. But it was like an hour of like hyping you up to the fire, mm -hmm. and you're just like waiting there, waiting for it to be burned for an hour, so and you're like, there, there wasn't another. Anything else going on? You no, just... there was like, there's like, um, so like they said that like you, it was like an all day event. Yeah. So like you can actually get into the event at four, but it was so hot. Mm -hmm. So, and there's no shade, but like, um, but like they have like um, kind of like mini concerts. They have like performers and then they have like dancers and like they have like Native American performances before. Oh, nice. I mean, it, it was really, really cool. You know, that kind of thing. And then, like, um, like, but, like, you know, you're, like, getting hyped up for an hour thinking, like, you know, they're going to burn the thing. And they have the <laughs> lights and the theatrical. You're thinking, like, this thing is going to get burned. That's you know? why I'm so excited. Yeah, and so... you're getting all hyped up. And then it's been an hour already, and you're, like, you said you're going to burn him. You know what I mean? Like, an hour ago. Burn it. So how you know what I mean? Take? An hour. <laughs> like, you're getting hyped. Because, like, I mean, I don't know what to expect, right? But, like, my friend said, she's just, like, Oh yeah, it's gonna be like an hour, and then we're just like, no way. And it was, it was like an hour. And then I was just like, and then I finally got why it takes an hour. It literally took like less than five minutes to burn the whole giant thing. When it like burned, it burned really fast. And he was like, he was like animatronic. Like his really? eyes were moving, his arms were moving, his head was moving. My husband who was an engineer was like, well, that was kind of a waste. Like, not, because he's yeah, like- Yeah, to burn it then. Yeah, because he was just fires. like, yeah, because yes. he was like, you know, like he's thinking like maybe it was the wind, right? Uh, maybe like the wind is like moving his arm or something, or his Was head. it windy at the time? I mean, I mean, it can't. I mean, at that height, uh -huh. there's gotta be some kind of wind, right? Oh uh, yeah, like at that moment. But he's also doing the, oh, like, you know, like the, ah, oh. that thing, wow, that's you know? <laughs> It is, because my husband's like, I'm scared of this thing, and I'm a grown-ass person, you know? And there's children there. There's a lot of children there. Oh, and it's sure. just like, why are the kids not scared of this thing? I mean, there were. Some of the kids are like half terror, half happiness. I think it is half terror, half happiness. They're just like, ah, uh, ah, <laughs> ah, 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 I, ah. I feel like after an hour, they're finally like, okay, this is really not going to do anything to us. You know what I mean? I think after an hour, they're like, okay, it's not going to move. Because nothing's happening. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but it is like really, really cool. Because like when it, because like it starts on the side. So the fire starts on the side. And then the ice, okay. the ice burns. And when the ice like burns, it just burns to the ground. And it's really cool. And then I was like, okay, I get it. <laughs> that would be like, so satisfying. You it was satisfying. It. And I just felt like, I just felt like so... Like, I just felt like a caveman because I'm just like, this is very satisfying. Yeah. It, like, it, it touched like the very Neanderthal part of myself. And I feel like, I'm like, why, why is this so satisfying? <laughs> <laughs> what else can we burn? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, it was really, really cool. And then like, you know, like just to like, and it was like a lot of people because like, I mean, it was fairly packed. Yeah. But you don't think of it like 
This is like 55,000 people. Yeah. But yeah. are you supposed to burn something too if you want to like burn some like bad You write and some stuff? down. Yeah, so right? that's the one that I worry about. So really the week know. the week before like in in the like there's a mall in Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. You so people put in like their worries and like all the negative things that they have. So like people will bring in like their divorce papers, oh. their like cancer, like their cancer things, like, yeah, you know, like, like diagnosis, like diagnosis and, stuff. and all that stuff. And yeah. they stuff him. Uh -huh. So they stuff him with like oh. negative. So what it is, is like, he's like. So it's inside the body of the, mm -hmm. the burning so he's, man. So mm -hmm. that's why like he, he singes so fast because he's just filled with paper. Oh, okay. Now so I, I forgot what his, what his name, because like his name is not Zozobra. Is it Zozo? <laughs> no, um, it's like Mr. Gloom. Um, yeah, he's Mr. Gloom. gloom. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so his name is, I, I guess it makes sense, because he's like, he's the gloom. Like, he's uh, like, yes. so like, so what it is, is like he, they cinch like all the worries away. Yeah. Yes. So which I think is like, it is like, it's a pretty neat idea. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just like, yeah, I'm like, and I, I told my husband, like, let's do this next year, but like, let's stay at the hotel Close in by. Santa Fe, yes. so we can just like, Walk is like after the festival, they have like dancing in the plaza. Uh -huh. So they Ooh. have like after activities. But after that, we were like completely like wiped out. But I was, I also had an event like in that morning before because I'm also like a meetup organizer. So I had like some events that I did. So like doing yeah. that and then we drove because also like we drove to Santa Fe and there was like a good amount of traffic because I think everybody was yeah. driving to Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. And then we did like the free parking and took the bus because that's how our friend told us to do. Yes. So like we took the bus because it was a free bus. Yes. And then we took the bus back. Mm -hmm. So like there was a little bit of a waiting too, but we were with friends. So we were like, you know, yeah. we were chatting. I think that's better too than instead of being in a car for like an hour. Yeah. Instead of, of like waiting. And also like, yeah. I, I think and it was wasting gas. I yeah. Mean, gas is expensive. Yeah, so. exactly. So I think it was like also nice because like, also it's hard to find parking in Santa Fe. Yes. That's and parking true. is expensive in Santa Fe. Yeah. It is. <laughs> yeah. So, but like we were joking because like where the actual place is, is like where houses is. Okay. So we were joking and like, where if you live around in this area, technically you can go to the Zobra for free. I mean, who's going to stop you? Right. Yes. You live here. But yeah, also it's got to be annoying because you're your like, because like most of those people are probably like old people and they're probably like, I just want to go to sleep, you know? You know, mm -hmm. it's like it's thousand like, people in my yard. <laughs> exactly, just like eighty thousand people in my yard, and also like it's gotta be worrisome because they're burning something like right behind my backyard. Yes, you know. But I think it is like I get it. Like I get it. It's like it's it is pretty neat. Like mm -hmm. like at first I was just like a little bit skeptical about it, and I'm like, why did I even spend money on this thing? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. But then after that, I'm like, okay, I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. So I'm just like, it is fairly cool but like the restaurant was actually fairly cool um but like they were closing early because of like the event uh -huh. so i think like a lot of the restaurants were closing early i think it's also because they knew like people were like going to the yeah. event yes. that kind of thing and i think like their employees were trying to go to the event because a lot of like yeah. families want to yes. go to the event yes. kind of thing but it was like really cute because it's really festive like they have like the little the, like those little like ribbon type mm. like decorations they have mm. like murals all over like their walls like those kind of things oh, wow. like we took like pictures on the murals and stuff the food was really really good um their margaritas were like gigantic like you mm -hmm. know those like gigantic glasses the like nice. yeah like the like, like they're glass. like bigger than my head like i didn't take a picture but like the margarita was like bigger than yes. my head it was gigantic because, like, my friend wanted a picture, but I think, like, they misheard him. But I told my friend, I'm like, I mean, that thing is still huge. I mean, good luck drinking that still. I know. I so. think you can have, like, share it with other friends. I mean, he didn't want to. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. He was like, I'm, I'm drinking before Zobra, and I get it. I get it. I mean, I don't blame him. Yeah. But the food was, like, really, really good. I think, like, I, I mean, I've been to Santa Fe uh, a good amount. But like I always go because like I whenever friends come here I'm like let's go to let's go to Meow Wolf it's always my excuse let's go to Meow Wolf because I'm always like I want to go to Meow Wolf like I don't care like how many times I've been to Meow Wolf I was like let's go to Meow Wolf how to get to Meow Wolf because it's always a hit because even like my my nephews were here for the summer and they're two boys you know. 
they're like so hard to please. You know, they're all about mid and clap and all that stuff. But they're just like, it was cool. We like it. Just like Ugh. that's a win in team language. That's what I'm mean. saying. And they're two boys, and I'm just like, okay, I got it. You know, so like even they're like they were impressed by it because they were just like, well, because they were asking just like, so so what what is it like? And I'm like, I don't know how to explain it to you. It's like a museum, but it's not a museum because they've never. They don't have that. I mean, they're from Charleston. Yeah. They only done like regular museums. So like, I think Meow Wolf is definitely. And I have like friends that like have told me because like they they li- like I have friends in Denver because my husband's family lives in Denver. So like I've taken them to the one in Santa Fe, and they actually like the one in Santa Fe because it's the OG. And they're like, oh, I actually like this one better than the oh. one in Denver. And then they open one in Vegas too. So mm-hmm. they're like, yeah, I like this one better because, like, it's, like, you know, it's, like, bigger or different, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, but, yeah. So, like, yeah, I think, like, I think Santa Fe is really nice for, like, a day trip. Mm-hmm. Like, it's because, like, my, my, we, met, we, we met one of my friends from Denver for Zozobra because he was in Santa Fe. Mm-hmm. And I told him, like, you know, oh, you're already in Santa Fe. Why don't we do Zozobra? And I was like, well, what is that? I'm like, oh, you never heard of it. It's like a Burning Man kind of thing. And then it was like, yeah, like, let's do it. Like, okay, I'll get you tickets or whatever. And then he was like, yeah, I've never heard of it. And that's why, like, it's really cool that, like, you know, we were able to, like, meet our friends from Santa Fe, meet our friends from Denver. And he's actually thinking of, like, coming again next year, too. So we're like, let's get a hotel kind of thing. So. Yes, and book six months prior. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, book now, I would. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I know. I told my husband, I'm just like, no, let's do it. And then maybe, like, do camping like, yeah. like, do because like they, my friend said they always do it on Labor Day. Okay. So do like a camping trip for like the Labor Day weekend. Like go to Hemes or something. Yeah. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. So, in saying that, since it is like our Halloween episode, we are gonna jump into our hot topic. So our hot topic for this episode is um, obviously Halloween related. Um, so it's, it's really, are you like a basic B or are you like overdue or like, you know, you're way too much. Cause that's me. Basic B is like, are you like a basic B Halloween? Cause like, do you just like, do you just put like, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you, just, you know, like, you know, like when you're like lazy, you just put like a cat ear. And then uh-huh. you just draw like a little, <laughs> you know, like a marker and then you do like a little whisker. Yes. You know what I mean? Or you just put in like a little, I do it too. Like last year for Halloween, I just wore like a white dress and I bought like a angel wing. And then my husband just had like a, like a khaki and a long white shirt and a name tag and he was like a heaven bouncer and he had like a little he had like a little a little clipboard of our friends names and then like some of them were in the list no like you know it was like the heaven bouncer and then we were like sorry yeah we were he was just like you know like some of our friends were like you weren't on the list you know maybe he really got into the burning thing yeah (laughs) yeah so that was kind of funny so like you know so like it's one of those things you're like what kind of like a halloweener are you are you basic or are you like me, or like you go all out? I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I want to go all out. But I feel like Halloween is getting more and more expensive, though. It is. It is. It is. Like, it is. I shop all year for, though, like, yeah. you know, figuring out what I might want to be. Yes. So, you know, putting stuff together from thrift stores and stuff like yeah. that. Because I feel yeah. like even trips, to, like, sometimes I go to Goodwill now, and then I look at stuff, and I'm like, how could you be like charging stuff that like you got for free from like somebody else's house? Like how could you be charging me like fifteen dollars for this dress that like somebody donated? I mean I'm just like you know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm like getting more and more salty about like thrift stores. Mm-hmm. You know? Like I'm just like these are too expensive now. Yeah. Like, I do buy my own through uh, you know, after Halloween when they become like fifty percent to seventy five percent. Then you still get the new stuff. Yeah, but the, sometimes you know if it's not, it's not meant for the twenty twenty three. Then, whatever you know, you just have to make it out of it. Yeah. So that's what I do. I just buy stuff. Cause like I try to like I try to like have like Halloween costumes that like I can wear all year round kind of thing. Like 
like dresses that I can wear that I can kind of incorporate to my Halloween. Me too. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, like this, like, like, like Barbie is big this year, obviously. Mm -hmm. Of course. Like yes. everybody, like I feel like 75% of the population this year is going to be Barbie. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to be like, hi Barbie, hi Barbie. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I feel like everybody's going to be Barbie and Ken this like Halloween, which is going to be amazing. Uh -huh. But like, I feel like, which is going to be amazing because I have, like I definitely bought a lot of pink just so like I can just wear it for <laughs> But like that You're kind of thing, lucky. you know, so like I can just like wear it on like regular days. Uh -huh. So like I can just be like, well, I can wear it for Halloween and then buy just like this pink wig, which I can also wear in like regular days. So, you know, so it's just like I don't have to just like literally just like wear it on like because like, I see little kids on like Halloween and I'm like, dude, you're seven. <laughs> like your parents like spent 175 on your costume. I know. I saw that in Walmart. There's no way. Like I go to co like I went to Costco. I literally like even like the basic dresses are like $35. That mm -hmm. was like for under 5 years old. Yes. Wow. And I'm like how are like the costumes like $35 now? Yeah, they became so expensive. Yeah. I think I it's better know. to be a B. <laughs> I know. To be basic. Yeah. Like, remember when, like, kids are just, like, blankets, you know? <laughs> yes. Just get a white blanket. You know, like, and they a plastic like... mask that, there's, like, a plastic mask that, yeah. you know, in the 80s. Yeah. That they just pop on, yeah. Because people are just like, well, you know, you can make your own costume. And it's like, making your own costume isn't cheap either anymore. Yeah. You know, That's like, because people are just like, you can cosplay. And, like, dude, cosplay ain't cheap. Like, I don't mm. know. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. But, like, I have cosplayer friends. It's like... This whole like sewing is cheaper. No, it ain't. Cause when you sew stuff, you you buy nicer materials. Okay, unless you're like going to like the thrift store and using like you know bedding and curtain materials. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way sewing is cheaper now. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. It's just like, I mean, I mean, like I'm trying to say it's just like the dollar store is also not the dollar anymore. It's a dollar fifty now. Oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Like things are like getting more and more expensive. And inflation is so high. Yeah. Because it's like my kids have like two kids and they have like costume changes in Halloween. Like they, they change <gasps> their mind. So like sometimes my sister would like, ha they like have like a different outfit for Halloween in school and then for like Halloween trick or treating because uh -huh. they want to have like a different costume. And I'm like, dudes, like, Halloween, like, like she would complain about it because, like, it's so expensive. I'm like, tell your children, they're not allowed to like change their mind. <laughs> like, their their costume, like, that's why, like, they know, like, they they literally know because, like, I will literally tell them, I'm like, dude, that like I had to work like three hours to buy that. They'll be like, what? And I'm like, yeah, dude, like, how how much do you like? Who do you think pay for that? <laughs> like, that's like three hours of work. Like you don't you don't pay for nothing. You're thirteen. You know? You're ten. Like well, you don't work for nothing. Like your mom had to work like three hours to buy that Halloween costume. Mm -hmm. You know? And they're because like they don't think about that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, because yeah. that's the thing. It's just like like that's why they think it's just like, you know, like I said, it's just like even for the kids, like even like Halloween costumes now are like not cheap anymore. And they're also like cheap, cheap material. Yeah. It is true. Yes. Yeah. Like I bought like I remember like I bought like a Halloween like one of those prison costume. It literally <laughs> fell apart like two hours after. Thank oh, God I was wearing something underneath because the butt literally like ripped apart. I was <laughs> naked underneath, and I told my husband like I was like I could have been naked. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would have like totally got away with it because we were living in New York. You know, I could have been like completely naked. I would have still been fine. <laughs> But my husband would have and been that's happy. Your <laughs> yeah, I mean, he would have never been happy. Then about you don't have it. to pay for it. Exactly, I would have just been naked prisoner. <laughs> but it's one of those things where, like, it was like a sixty-five dollar costume, uh -huh. you know. But it was still like, I mean, why would I? I mean, it was still sixty-five dollars. And they're flammable too. If they're yeah, so flimsy. That's what I'm saying. Yes. So it's just like, like the fact that's like. And it, it, it is also hard because, like, people are just, like, you know, like, I understand that, like, I shouldn't be buying stuff in, like, Temu and stuff. And I'm like, well, where do you think 
people in Amazon are like buying your Temu. Like, like, uh-huh. do you think like you're getting better deal in right. Amazon? That's where they're getting. <laughs> they're, like, right. unless you're like buying stuff from like Etsy or like your friends. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? If you're buying your mask in Amazon, there's there's no difference. Those people, <laughs> those people mm-hmm. are, in Amazon are buying it from Temu and then like reselling it in Amazon. Uh-huh. Okay, yes. like it's the same thing, it's, except it's you're getting same. it in a two-day shipping. There's a difference. The Tamil people are waiting seven days. <laughs> okay, the Amazon okay. people are just waiting two days. <laughs> That's the only difference. Okay, you're okay. just getting faster, faster shipping. Okay. So, but like, and this the thing is, it's like I love Halloween, yes. but like it's getting harder and harder for me to like justify Halloween stuff because, like you say, it's just like I usually buy stuff now, like after Halloween. Yes. Because, like, I love decorating my stuff for Halloween. Uh So, like, usually I'll wait after Halloween to buy Halloween stuff to decorate my house. Mm -hmm. So, because I love, because, like, I usually have, like, Halloween parties at my house. And I, like, I I love either miniature stuff or, Uh like, giant stuff. So, I've been buying giant spiders. Oh, my. And I missed it last year from... Do you have to get a storage for that? <laughs> to rent the storage? To... No, I have a big house. Oh, that's good. But eventually, <laughs> I'm going to run out of storage. Eventually. You're going to put that big uh, giant spider in, in, you know, on top the of the attic. Yeah. Yeah. The attic. Yeah. From all that's over her. Creepy. No, so my husband see. hates it because he doesn't like spiders at all. Oh. And it's just like, and it's like all you do is like buy spiders. Oh. I hate it. <laughs> And it's like he would rather buy me. He would rather me buying Christmas stuff. Okay. Because that's that's my thing. It's like I'm either hoarding Christmas decorations or Halloween decorations. Yes. Oh, so they're Christmas. competing. Yeah. Those are the two things that are competing in yes. my house. I have a lot of Christmas stuff more than Halloween. Yeah. yeah. See, my I think ha- I have a spider, but it's usually the spider rings. Those are like I have a hundred of those. Yeah. <laughs> but I use it for food. Oh, okay. Yes. Like if you want to have, yeah. you know, like a top of cupcakes, like, yeah, kind of pay, and then just put the spiders Spiders? on. Yeah. So I have a lot of those. Oh. Yes. Yeah. No. It's just like, like I said, it's just like, because like they, one of the Halloween stores had this like giant animatronic spider that went like up and down, Mm -hmm. and like I just missed it like by a day. Oh Oh, my! Like I was working or something, and I really (laughs) wanted it, and I told my husband like this year if they still sell it. Buying it, buying it. Like, I don't care if it's regular price. I'm buying it this year because I'm just not like, missing it again. That reminds me of, of me when I want to buy that Santa Claus that goes up on the stairs. I like, have I, it. Like it. You have that? I have yeah. that. I saw it in Target and I said it's still expensive. I went back the, the second day. It wasn't. It was, it was gone. So I said, Oh no. I bought it. No. Those are like yeah. probably you. Those are, right? yeah. you. You probably got it from Target. I got, no, that's the, the I know what you're talking about. That I got yeah. it from Target. That's oh, the one that I have. so probably that one that yeah. I really want was yeah. You know, so yeah. By no, because like we went to Costco and they have like those giant like um, nutcracker ones. Yes. Because like I I want ones that like can't because we live in New Mexico so like things like I want things in my yard but like they get. They get blown away. Yes, it's And this true. one is yeah. like cement, right? So uh-huh. it can't be blown away. Mm-hmm. And like, I really wanted it. My husband's like, walk away. And I'm like, I really want it. Because it's not going to get blown away. Yeah. Well, for Christmas, I'm still looking for the luminaries that won't blow away. They're so hard to find. Like, I put rocks in them. I put, I can't get them yeah. to stay. I'm going to have to figure out how to buy that stupid nutcracker. No, oh, I love nutcracker. I have a nutcracker village, but it's only like small ones, no. though. This one's like yeah. humongous. Yeah, it's I like don't, it's I like eight like feet tall. I don't have space for those. And it's like cement. It's like cement. Yeah. And it's only it's less than five hundred dollars. And my husband's like, no, you already have a giant Mickey Mouse. I do have a giant Mickey Mouse. Oh my! <laughs> it's like it's like he's like this high. He's like a little. He's like a little Santa. Mickey Mouse Christmas thing. You really need the storage for everything that you buy. <laughs> I really do. Because they're humongous. Yeah, it's really bad. But yeah, no, it's just like, I, I really am obsessed with Halloween and Christmas. Yes. But but eventually, we're gonna... Yeah. I know. We're almost there. I know. But I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to see all the trick-or-treaters this year. Oh, yeah. me too. I want to see, too. like, I want to see what everybody's, like, I want to see all the little Barbie and Ken's. Uh-huh. What else? What else are, like, I want to see all the little Mario... Because like the Mario movie came out this year. Okay. Um, what what other movies came out this year? The new um, Little Mermaid. Oh yeah. Oh, oh the Ariel's. Yes. Yes. Oh. That was gonna be so cute. I 
think. Yeah. I have a friend who loves to wear Ariel yeah. costumes. So. so I think it's going to be a very interesting Halloween this year. Like yeah. it's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm going to have to buy a lot of candy at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> we know where to go. <laughs> yeah. I really do. So, and now we're going to segue to Am I the A-hole? Because I, I, I love drama, especially when it's not mine. Like I love the tea. So, I love it. And I love it when it's not mine because I, I, don't, I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> so our topic is, am I the a-hole for not wanting my wife to go trick-or-treating? Because it's also interesting, right? So my wife, 24 female, who is pregnant with our first child, asked me if we had plans for Halloween earlier today. It falls on a Monday and I have to work the next day. So I told her that I didn't have anything planned aside from handing out candy to any trick-or-treaters who decided to come by. My wife said that her friend, also 24 female, wanted to go trick-or-treating and that she invited my wife to come along. Neither my wife or her friend have children yet, aside with my wife currently being pregnant. So it would just be the two of them going around asking for candy. I told my wife that I think it's a little inappropriate for an adult woman to go trick-or-treating unless there were accompanying children or something. My wife's response was that she looks like a teenager and could pull it off. Now I think this is a rather silly, but it's not necessarily a hill I'm willing to die on. However, the key issue is that my wife's friend lives in a town two hours away, and my wife's friend lives in a rural area without a good cell phone phone reception. So the situation is no longer just my wife wanting to go trick-or-treating with her friend, but they want to go trick-or-treating two hours away in an area with little to no cell phone reception. I feel that I worry a lot about my wife and her well-being already since she's pregnant. And I don't want to add stress to her, to her being out trick-or-treating in a rural area two hours away. I basically told her I'm not okay with her going out with her friend in this situation. And she's quite upset with me as a result. Am I the a-hole? No. I don't, I don't think he's an a-hole, but I also think... She should be allowed to trick or treat. Anybody should. It's that's the, it's a fun thing. And I give anybody candy if they if they came to my door. It's the two hours away thing is a little iffy. But I wonder why he didn't volunteer to go get the friend. Come back, and they could go trick or treating up there. They could even spend the night and have a little candy party. With sugar buzz going on, and then that would like solve everything, right? Yeah. I don't think he's an a-hole. I think uh, he's just being, uh, you know, worried about the wife being pregnant. And also, it's two hours. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So I would prefer that, you know, she would trick or treat somewhere, like, close by, especially that she's pregnant. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, like, there's all, the thing is, like, always with these situations, like, very limited information. So, like... Yeah. Like, I'm just going to, like, going to put in, like, information that maybe we don't have. So, like, if yeah. her friend is two hours away, there's a possibility that, like, maybe her friend wanted her to come to her place, right? So, maybe it's because she's been pregnant yeah. that, like, she hasn't seen her friend in a while. Uh -huh. So, maybe there's that. And also, there's a second thing that maybe she's kind of embarrassed to go trick-or-treating in her neighborhood mm -hmm, because she's also pregnant, too. right? Uh -huh. Right. Because, like, she's that not going to... That be the costume, though. Yeah, because, like, <laughs> in a way, yes. it's like... Because think about it. She said that, like, she looks like a teenager, so she can pull it off. But if she lives in that neighborhood, they know her. So she can't pull it off in that neighborhood because they know it's her, right? Why are you out here trick-or-treating? You're a grown person. Okay. Yeah. Right? I think oh. they just Could laugh be, and yeah. give her more candy. Yeah. <laughs> so, because like I feel like it's one of those things where like some people are kind of like it depends. Like people are 50 50. Some people kind of not make fun of, but like people don't like it in a way when like teenagers go trick or treating because they feel like they're old enough. I mean, I don't care. Like if people come to my door, I give them candy anyway because I'm like, oh. I'm like, who cares? There it's could like, be so much worse things. Teenagers could be outdoing, you know, exactly. than, than getting candy. So I, I, I love mean, it when I yeah. see teenagers. I mean, honestly, to me, it's just like, if you literally walk to my house, I don't care how old you are. You can literally be a grandparent. Uh -huh. If you took the exercise to come and, like, knock on my door, 
on a Tuesday, here's a candy. Right. You know what I mean? Good for you. You know what I mean? Here's a little candy. Take it I, away from me. Exactly. Less sugar for me. Yeah. That's and I think my also mantra. is like, I think when you're pregnant, you, you really do the most random stuff. Like, you True. get into like this, this kind of like, like your brains kind of like do the most random stuff. Um, so like, you, I, it could be like she's just missing her friend. She hasn't seen her in a while. Yeah. She wanted to do like the most random hang. You know what I mean? Like sometimes yes. you just want to do like a random activity with your friend that you haven't seen in a while. And this is silly. You know, like, oh, let's like trick or treat right. together and, on a Halloween. And if they've known each other for a long time, might have been something they did as kids. Yeah, and, or like, you know what I mean? If, if we, their last time before she yeah. has a baby. Or it could so. be like, you know, we can wear a mask. Maybe they're like for 11 like me. We can get away with it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like you, you guys know we're like background actors. Like I got away with like being a middle school student from behind. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that yeah. kind of thing. So like I can kind of see that. Like, you know what I mean? Like doing something silly with a friend on a Halloween, that kind of stuff. But like I can kind of see it's like as like a husband, like I, I'm not going to be angry for my husband for worrying about, you know, for my well-being. That kind of thing. Right. But if I'm pregnant, you know what I mean? Is logic going to be there? Of course not. <laughs> sometimes. So yeah, it's sometimes like, you go a little off. Yeah, exactly. She, so, she is also a grown woman, though. Yes. And he can't really say. Yeah, she's, she is a grown woman. It's you like, know, and if he's really that worried, he should go and just not go trick-or-treating if he doesn't want to. He can drive yeah. her. Yeah. I mean, there are, there are several answers here that he could, could do. do. Yeah. So... He could just like not be lazy and just be like, well, just maybe he doesn't even have to go with them. Just maybe stay in her friend's house. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's exactly. not two hours away. Yeah. Right. So like instead of like being two hours away, he's only like maybe 10 minutes away. Right. That kind of thing. So I, I, I mean, maybe there is like things that you can do or maybe... I don't know. It's like maybe there's a reason why he can't be there. I don't know. It's just like I think I think that's the problem is like information is limited. Yeah. Yes. It's it's always easiest for us to just be like it's his fault. <laughs> why isn't he driving 2 hours away? Obviously your wife's pregnant. You go where your pregnant wife. Cuz my I mean obviously my husband will go where I am because my husband is a warrior. Mm -hmm. Like literally if my husband can just be behind me all the time, he would. Like he would, just in case, because he, he, he worries a lot. And I'm just like, go away, like go somewhere, I'll, I'll be okay. You know, so I can kind of understand. And it's also like, if, there's, if it's their first child, I can kind of understand. It's, it's, it's also like, if it's your first, of course yeah. you're gonna be right. worrying, yes. that kind of thing. But That's like what if I'm you, thinking, you know, that it might yeah. be a first child because she's 24. Yeah, so. so, but like, you know, it like, maybe like, and also like, it's Halloween. You know, she might she might be just wanting some candy. Yeah. You know, maybe if he's just like, you know, let's go to Costco. I'll buy you like two pounds of candy or something. Mm. You know, you got you and your friend can pretend to trick or treat in front of our house over and over again. <laughs> you know, I you know, mean, let's do a scenario where in you ring in different costumes, in different costumes exactly. Yeah. You know, ring our doorbell like twenty five times. <laughs> you know, that's the thing. Also, it's just like I think. I don't think anybody is an asshole in this thing. It's just like uh, nobody can win. It's a lose lose situation because like she just wants to be with her friend. He's allowed to worry because like he's a husband, you know. But also like I can kind of understand. I mean, it is fun. Like now that I'm older, like sometimes when Halloween does falls on a weekend. Mm -hmm. I do get like, I like sometimes I do get worried, like not worried, but like I do get like tangled on like I want to be home to give candies to like trick or treater because I get excited. I want to see like kids in costumes. Oh, this is the tiny yes. ones that just kind of toddle yes. love. Yes. Oh, the ones I rather give candy than being there taking you know taking candy from other people. Yeah. I prefer to give candy. Yeah. No, it's just like, I, cause like I love going to like parties and dressing up. Cause I love dressing yes. up, mm -hmm. but I also like love 
because like I do live in a neighborhood where I do live in, I I do live in a kid neighborhood because like um, I live in the West Side mm -hmm. and the school is like walking distance from my house so you see the kids walk to and from in the school in my neighbor so like my house is on the way to the school okay. so they have to walk yeah. to my house to go to the school. Okay. So, so then you better give good candy. Oh, I give like great candy. <laughs> and also the best way to show yeah. your house that you have a really good decoration. I do. I, I already decorated like the first day of September. I already decorated. So like, so like, and I also like, I have like bowl, a bowl. Mm -hmm. So like when I, when I give like candy, like I literally tell them like, you know, like grab because they'll like grab one like or two uh -huh. and I'm like, no, oh, grab. They'll be like, are you sure? And they'll be like, you know, because like some of them are so little, like their parents will be like, go in the door. And they'll be like, oh, shy. You know, they're like, oh, you know. So it was like. But there's also some people who are like, just take one. Yeah, so it's just like, it's so cute. And I'm just like, no, take the whole thing. And they're like, so adorable. So like, so like when the Halloween is like, on the weekends, and I'm just like, but I want to be home to give out candy. I want to give out candy to the kids. Because yeah. like I said, it's just like our neighborhood like have kids all the time. So it's just yeah. like, it's so fun. I love Halloween. It's like, because like, I'm not from here. I didn't, I mean, I didn't, I kind of grew up here, but I moved here when I was 15. But like, I have a little sister. She moved here when she was four. Mm. So like, she grew up here for Halloween. So like, mm. I took her to her treating like when she was she was a kid so i think it was just like i, I think it's like an amazing thing which is adorable because like stranger danger but also like go to other people's house and get candy right. <laughs> you know <laughs> it's like without one day of the year where you just knock on people's doors and get random candy from people while in a costume so i think i i think it's just fun i love how it is fun so yeah. but this is our episode for today um, if you are a local businesses or any businesses and you would like to promote or you would like to sponsor a show, please contact us. Do email. We are also in all of the social media. And we will see you guys next week.